What is going on, everybody? It's Treeb from Treeb Talks here. We're here for episode 14, I think. Episode 14 of the crew cast. We didn't have a crew cast last Thursday. That was due to the fact that I thought the Jags game was going to be on Hulu and we were going to go live, but it wasn't, and I had to stream it on the computer. Typical Treeb Talks move. Anyway, this is just like... About 50% of the crew cast, because we got the OG3 in the building. No no newer faces we here were, at the crew we cast. We were very wrong when we went live yesterday yeah. about our predictions. See, that bull I said like four or five, but... Well, I was thinking, because Barnage freaking production mm -hmm. has the audacity to call him sick to work. Oh, did he call him sick to, to work? To unpaid... No, to this oh, work. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I know he doesn't feel good, but... He called in sick to this work, so he didn't feel good. He's probably at home playing Dauntless. Yeah. Yep. He's not gonna get his free meal for the week. We'll just buy him yeah. ice cream. No lunch for you. <laughs> We're just, just gonna buy him a kitty cone from Mickey D's. He's yeah. just getting ice cubes. No, sucking on ice straight, cubes. Straight from the tray. I hate that, dude. Trevin has this annoying thing yeah. where he, well, that's how we're kicking he off just the sits there, he'll suck and chew on ice, and it's like, I don't care, I don't have like that weird thing where like it annoys me when people eat, but when Trevin eats ice cubes, my mom does the same thing. <laughs> it's freaking, I hate it so much. It's, it's like, uh... I know it like soothes you or calms you down or puts you to sleep or whatever, but it I just, bothers me. It's just a habit, really. Yeah. Like, my mom... My mom used to, uh, she used to have a freaking, this is the most Idaho thing you'll ever hear in your entire life. So we used to live by a gas station when I lived at my parents' house. I live by that gas station now. Yeah, <laughs> Fitz, Fitz grew yeah. up by that gas station uh, my too. My uncle's Lib house is by that gas yeah. station. Liberty Mart, classic, shouts out to Liberty Probably Mart. Probably the best. Yep. They have the best gas station food. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Steak I, fingers, mini tacos. Like I'll, I'll put it. I'll put it ahead of Liberty uh, Bell. Maverick. Maverick. I would oh, yeah. too. And Mavericks nationwide, so maybe even worldwide. Yeah, yeah. dude. Wow. I just Liberty Mart slaps. Here it in it does. Town. Well, the thing is, is that me and Barnage literally have any option in the entire world to get food because, like, that's all Lewiston is really. If you if you ever come to visit Treep from Treep Talks or you're ever on the crew cast, you're going to realize that there's a lot of fast food places and a lot of restaurants. Like, all that there is to do here is to eat. That's so crazy. It's not, like, way too many. Obviously, there's a lot. But, like, like in Lewiston, we only, have, we only have one Starbucks. And that's crazy because, like, in all the bigger cities, there's one on every block. I feel like we have a lot of fast food and mm -hmm. restaurants, like, per square mile. Yeah, like yeah, because we have like what? Let's say at least five different pizza places. Oh yeah, well I mean we have the big ones like Papa John's, Domino's. Like it's a you know, those pizza ones. hut. It was like pizza. It was like when they founded Lewiston. They're like <laughs> they're like you know what? We have a potential to be like a pretty solid big city, but you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna buy all <laughs> the fast food places. Well, it's like people around us. Because we have really small towns around us, you know, yeah. like, if they want to go out to eat, they're going to come to Lewiston. They have to. And that's, like, <laughs> kind of why we have a lot of those things. To support And it's not even, like, towns. big restaurants. It's just oh. places. To well, eat. yeah, we have, like, some nice restaurants, so, though. A few. You There's know. some holes in the wall yeah. places. You know, a lot of people, bad. you know, go to Fazari's for their birthday or something like that. Yeah. That's that's an occasion in Lewiston. In the LC yeah. Valley, if you're going to Fazari's, it's for an occasion. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. We talked about this a few crew casts ago. <laughs> yeah, we... All the food here. Just always. But it's anyway, with. me and Barnage have the option to eat literally anywhere before we go to Fitz's house to watch Fudge. Mm -hmm. But we decide, and like we, we have pick them up from downtown, so we pass all the fast food yeah. places. And we choose to go to Liberty Mart before we go. Because it's... Which is still kind of out of the way from my place. Yeah, right? It is. Well, yeah, because you could, yeah. Yeah, because you could turn earlier. Mm -hmm. Way earlier. Yeah, and we still just, we go all the way to Liberty Mart. I get... Two barbecue burritos and a fucking piece yeah, tea. Yeah, beef, and beef and steak the, fingers, and mini tacos. Yeah, their steak man. fingers are my favorite. They have good breakfast burritos, too. They do. They're they solid. Matter. Everything's solid there. Liberty man. Mart, booming. Liberty Mart is definitely one of the biggest staples of my childhood. 
yeah. Oh, yeah, you live less than a block away. I lived a whole sidewalks. To, like, like, literally away. 50 meters. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I would just beg my mom for freaking change to, yeah. go to, to go to Liberty Mart. That's what but, me and Nick used to do way back in the day. Going right back to the ice thing, though, and how that started. Ooh. My mom used to have this big jug, right? Like mm-hmm. fucking huge, like a hundred Mountain Dew jug. Hundred. It was like that, but it wasn't a Mountain Dew jug. Okay. But and she called it Jolie Oli, right? And she and she would f- go to Liberty Mart two times a day, fill that bitch up with fucking Diet Coke and like a bunch of ice. <laughs> oh, like the are they like eighty four ounce? Yeah, yeah, sixty four something, yeah. Like, 64, cups, something yeah. like that. Yeah, she'd fill them up. And then she'd have so much leftover ice that, like, throughout the day, she would just, like, chew on the ice, like, the Chomp whole time. So, it. so like, that, I just engaged that habit. I literally, like, when I was living at my parents' house, and we had just an ice maker and had unlimited yeah. ice, freaking, <laughs> I would just get, like, cups of yeah. ice and play video games and just chew oh. on ice. Like, it was like chips for me. Nice. Ice cubes. And Fitz kind of and like I and Fitz, and, yeah, I was way, gonna say yeah. I was gonna say Fitz kind of got me into it a little bit too because he would chew on ice because yeah. Wyatt used to do it all the time too. Yeah. Wyatt Wyatt got me into the whole grab a cup fill it with ice and suck on some cubes and yeah. suck on some cubes <laughs> dog yeah they're horrible ice cubes yeah chewing through ice cubes yeah I never picked that up from my mom. It's you, weird, but you know I did pick up from my parents my fear of snakes. One hundred. I and I was thinking about it because I said like, you know, I'm scared of snakes. My whole family's scared of snakes. Like everyone's just death, deathly is scared of them, and like I think that's almost kind of like a hereditary thing or like something that just gets passed on. Because my dad, my mom just taught me like, oh, you don't mess with those. But my mom's also scared of spiders, and I don't care about spiders. I think I think I got mine from my mom because my dad's always been. Like he can mess with snakes. He can. He literally will pick them up, yeah. or he'll get a stick with a rattlesnake, and he'll be yeah. fucking with it. And we had like our neighbor up the street actually would call my dad to come get a snake out of his house <laughs> because he didn't want to fuck with it, and he knew my dad would. How do you get a snake in your house? Yeah, I don't know dude. how. Ugh. So see, yeah, it freaks me out. See, I. Head. I definitely did not get any of my fears from my parents because mm. my mom straight up loved spiders, dude. My mom really. I did not know that she does. Are def- you kidding? You didn't know that she definitely doesn't seem like a spider lover. I don't think any moms po- like spiders. This I feel podcast like. is quickly turning into a Susan Picks huh. podcast. Shout yes, I Susan. love Susan. Susan's so nice, She's always great. sweet. Shouts out to my mama, but she <laughs> uh, she would she used to find. Big spiders, right? And I'm deathly afraid of spiders. Yeah. I don't fuck with spiders. Oh, yeah, she used to put on and mason jars. Dude, she would did capture she, them. Did she fight them? No, she wouldn't fight oh them. She'd God. keep them. She'd keep them, and she'd keep them outside, and we'd just poke air mm-hmm. holes in it and, like, find, like, ladybugs and, like, yeah. feed it ladybugs and shit. But, dude, a couple of times, like, this didn't just happen once. Like, a couple of times mm-hmm. she caught pregnant-ass spiders. <sighs> No and dude, way. This, these spiders would have their fucking babies <laughs> no. in the pickle jar. And you know what my mom would do? My mom would grab the pickle jar and throw it over the fucking fence, like in the tractor place. Like by my house. Like a glass basin <laughs> jar? <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. Dude, that's funny because me and Nick <laughs> and my cousin Dakota, we would all like just try to find the gnarliest spider. We used to have these huge wolf spiders, about yay big, probably... A little bit bigger than like a 50 cent piece. And we'd fight them. Dude, because spiders, when they just see each other, they freaking kill each other. That's so fun. It was like underground. Probably illegal. What do you call that? Uh, blood sport? Blood yeah. sport, Is that yeah. what we learned in history of sports and that entertainment? That was a great class. Yeah, that was it was. That awesome class. Dude, freaking, that's, that's how it, I know this is obvious, but have you ever seen like a cat fight a mouse? No, I actually Dude, never yeah. have. They get... Because I've never had any outside cats. Dead ass, right? When we first moved in, like mm-hmm. we had we had mice or whatever. We don't have mice anymore, thank God. But <laughs> fucking, it was basically because Nut moved in was the whole reason. Because dude, these fucking Morris, no Nut. We oh had, here. Yeah, here, oh I thought you meant your mom. No house. here, dude. When, like when Nut moved in, mm-hmm. and she would fucking 
<laughs> hover like it was there was one like literally like inside the stove right mm-hmm. fucking hovering in there nut picks this mouse up throws it With on the mar yeah literally throws it on the marble <laughs> pounces on it and just starts just gnawing at it and then it's dead right and so like nut the first three days she was here we ended up going to dixie like for two mm-hmm. days and we come back there's fucking three dead mice Really? Not just fucked up every single mouse that was in here. That's just that's found... crazy. That's cool though, dude. I literally like all my cats are straight fucking killers. Oh yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> More <laughs> yeah. Was too. Yeah. I don't think Nut would be a killer anymore, dude. Nut, no, Nut's a little chonk. Fat She's now. a little <laughs> chonk. She's hella chonk. She is a little chonk. Trevin goes. Colton, is there is there any food in her in her bowl? <laughs> this cat's like fat for how big it is, and I'm like. <laughs> Trevin, this thing doesn't need food. You fed it five times already today, I'm sure. <laughs> At least three. You pro- yeah. At least three. You have, like a, you have a, one of those double whammy <laughs> feeders that's supposed this. to be for water and food, and they just fill that thing just to, Both the, sides. to the sky with food, <laughs> both of them. Well, the thing is, is two things. One, she only drinks out of the water that Keystone drinks out of. She'll mm-hmm. she'll never drink out of her own food bowl, so that's why we do it. And two, she's a growing baby. You, That's you, a fat baby, dude. She was a preemie, dog. <laughs> well, how old is your cat? She's, I think, just turned two. Years or yeah. months? Years. Oh, that's older. That's not. That's not a baby. That's a baby kid. You've had your cat for two years, or since 2017 or 2018. Oh, I guess did that cat live at uh, Tina's mom? Yeah. <coughs> okay. Yeah, she makes was, sense. She's, I remember that. Baby. I think I might have went there and saw it when it was like first born. Dude, for been real. Been in Tina's house a few times. Dude, Tina, shout out to Tina too. Tina's, Tina's awesome, dude. dude. Every we, time I see her, she freaking. Everybody has a great mom. Yeah, and, and the thing is, is yeah. that we all we all know that like if this video gets like 15 views, like seven of them are gonna be all of our moms. Like one. Yeah. <laughs> like, 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 I was just Jack saying. Tina watches I was just saying. I bet she does. Mom. Yeah, I, bet I was she just does. saying right before this, like a good amount of my family, like my grandparents, watch or listen to the crew cast. And I told my grandma last time I saw her, I was like, "Yeah, on your birthday, I didn't do it because." Uh, because it was your birthday, I was hanging out with you, and she was, and I said that you guys mentioned that, and she's like, oh my god, I'm gonna go watch it. <laughs> yeah. and I was like, yeah, it's in the title, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, happy birthday, Dina. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now she can, she can timestamp it at 12.36 where we give her a, a shout out. Give her a quick, <laughs> quick shout out. Yeah, I think we, we just have good, we're really good at keeping conversation going, you know, like those, like podcasts that are bad to listen to is when they're just like long pauses in between, like, yeah, what they say, like, yeah in between what they're we thinking. feed off each other, dude, we could do it like all day, every day, it's literally, it's, <laughs> we could literally do it in the car, me and Fitz will talk the whole way, like, that's, all the way here. that's what I'm saying, there's not like, we're all so close, cause like we done grew up with each, like, I mean, yeah, we grew up with each other, but like we're yeah. also going through like our adult life with each other. You know, yeah. like there's not a single person like that's just in the crew that like we all couldn't just sit and talk to for like oh, hours. Yeah, you know True. what I mean. Like, like I couldn't even do it with Arturo. Oh yeah, yeah. like well, I yeah. love Arturo, but like he's gone. He's an, he's, he's an, an organ. organ. Yeah, yeah. Like I mean, I fuck, guess that actually like, would probably yeah. The only person that I wouldn't want to do it is Layton. Fuck yeah. you, Layton. I could do it, but it would be... No, I could <laughs> It'd be alright. Is that a hard one? No, I'd be okay with it. It'd He's in fine. Burbank. Hey, shout out to my dog, Layton, though. He's one of the yeah. top ten fastest cross-country runners in NAIA. And still gets burnt by Fitz. And no. still, still gets burnt by Fitz. In the backyard football league. I don't know how many times i got to teach y'all boys this lesson. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 don't, you don't want me and Bryce on the same team. It was RIP. Right. It was RIP in the first game because I had Leighton and Bryce. And it, was, right. and it was just over. Oh, Drew didn't have anyone. Oh, Drew had Cameron and, and push okay. Jameson. Jameson. Oh, Jamie. I freaking love when Jameson plays because he goes hard. He does. It's, yeah. it's funny when he goes hard. It just kind of looks goofy. That look. But, it like, he, he gets, like, super, look. super into it. Like, yeah. like when he, when like he goes up for a catch, like, he goes for it. He, Falls to the wall, dude. Dude, I fuck 100%. with... 100%. I love when he goes, though, like, at the line, though, and then he gives you that look. He's like... 
Like, you know he's just gonna go fucking hard. You know he's gonna moss you. It's like, it's like oh no. Dude, I he's fuck ready. with games where, like, everybody shows up and they mm-hmm. all have fucking bad intentions. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, like, everybody. Like, you know, Connor wants to fuck. Like, dude, but he, we... he wants to hit Ben usually. Yeah. Yeah. You can, you can tell by, like, the 10 people that are there. Like, you look at the ten people that are there, and you just get a vibe, and you're like, oh, fuck. You know, like, we're all here for some bad things. <laughs> Dude, we're like, all some, just... like, sometimes when I play, like, I'm just in a mood to, like, you know, get a big hit on something. Yeah, all right. Like, yeah. sometimes, I don't know why, but, like, I'll just, like, I'll get it in my mind that I'm going to lay out Bryce. Yeah. <laughs> because me and Bryce will talk shit, you know, everyone yeah. talks shit. I don't shit. really talk too much shit, but then I get the shoulder, and then I'm like, Dude, yes. all right, motherfucker. My favorite is just blocking people for no reason. And right. Just throwing elbows, you know, pulling on the shirt and stuff. I my like favorite it. my favorite thing is when Big Weem, whenever I play with him, and I throw it to him, he will literally, one time a game, always just, right when I throw it to him, pitch it right back to me. <laughs> and, and the thing is, is that we've done it so much yeah, to this point real. that we're, like, on the same page about it. Dude, like, he'll, he'll just, like, turn around, pitch it off to me real quick, and get, like, an extra four yards. <laughs> dude, oh, man. Dude, like, there, there's been, yeah, there's been some games where, like, it's been fun. It's been crazy. Like, the last game we played was honestly pretty fun. Like, Log feasted low-key. Yeah, oh, Log was I, there. I got the yeah. safety. Yeah, you guys said there was a good amount of people. I was kind of sad that I didn't want to go, but I was really behind. I had two sweet, touchdowns man. the last game on Lage. From from what? Just work or what? Yeah, the I don't know why. Game. I just freaking stay up late. It's, I do too, dude. It's so it's... stupid. Well, it's, it's, it's late for me. Like, it's like 11.30. Oh, dude, quit bitching. Like 11.45. <laughs> well, I have to wake up at 5.30 in the morning. I get it's up just at like 8. like midnight. It's like, yeah, I would stay up till 1 or 2 if it was... Yeah, I do Like that. I, <laughs> I, I'm notorious for going to bed early, though. You're notorious for going to bed early, going to bed fast, and being the worst sleeper. I'm the best sleeper. I You're sleep heavy. <laughs> yeah. that, that I always get a good night's that sleep. That part's good, but I hate... Actually, you're the second worst sleep talker right now. I don't sleep talk. Shut up. Dude, at the <laughs> cabin, it was terrible. I got up to piss at, like, mm-hmm. 3 a.m. Yeah. And, like, y'all, every single motherfucker upstairs was snoring. And all y'all, <laughs> and all y'all, the fucking snores were not in sync at all. Dude, it's <laughs> bad at the cabin. Everyone snores at the cabin because, you know, we're higher up in, in altitude. altitude yeah. And then, like, usually we're piss drunk. So <laughs> yeah. Because I woke up in the middle of the night and I couldn't go back to bed because obviously everyone's, there's a constant snore. Yeah. And then I was sleeping in the same bed as Cameron. Yeah. And Cameron woke me up with his teeth grinding. grinding of his teeth, dude. It's, it's so like, It was bad. the craziest thing. I didn't know what it was at first, but then I saw his jaw moving. Uh, and like, it was so loud. It's like, so loud. I, because he told us about it and I was like, oh, whatever. But Cameron like, was on the far side of, of their bed. Yeah. And I was, he was in on a the, different bed on the other he side. He was on the east side. Yeah, and east I could, <laughs> and I was sitting there, and that, that's all I could hear was just the grinding of teeth. I can't even grind my teeth that hard. No, it was no. like, like scraping two pieces of plywood together. It was crazy loud. Dude, yeah. I, it woke me up, <laughs> and I'm a he heavy a, sleeper. I'm surprised he has not broke a tooth. Oh yeah, how much it's like, Dude, how or like grind it, it gets numb. bad with me when I'm sleeping like flat on my back. If I'm yeah. sleeping flat on my back, it's game over. Because my mouth is wide the fuck open when I'm sleeping. I'm just like... <sighs> and what? God. When we slept together, when we had to do uh, wrestling tournaments. What yeah. was that when I like tried to wrestle you? You tried yourself? wrestling me yeah. in your fucking sleep, yeah. <laughs> You're like... I was, in the, I was in the zone, dude. I wasn't trying to do that. <laughs> that's, you, that's how your stance was. I was kind of like, like a growth... Yeah, like you're, like, you're like, you're like, that's... like giving them hits. <laughs> <laughs> and so my favorite thing too, I was, I, we were about to talk about this before the podcast went on. It was funny because Bailey walked in, but me and me and Bailey are really solid. Like we never really ever fight. Like yeah. we're we're pretty much on the same page like mm-hmm. all the time. And it's so funny because the only time we fight is when we're both like either like dead asleep or fucking just waking up. Like this morning, <laughs> dude, it was so fucking. Things get funny. crazy when you're like really sleepy. Dude. I get cranky like late at night oh. when I'm sleepy. <laughs> I, it got so fucking funny because like, uh, we, the whole plan was that I was gonna get up at eight and we were gonna go get coffee or whatever. And so I was like, all right. 
I'm gonna sleep in a little bit, and I'm just not gonna take a shower. We can just get up and fucking go. And I thought that was the plan. And then she's like, we get in the car, it's like 8.50, and she's like, we're not getting coffee. And I'm like, the fuck? And then, and then she's like, I was like, I can't do it without caffeine. And she's like, fine, go drink my last fucking sugar-free Red Bull. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, no. me, so me and Bailey were just fucking beefing over a sugar-free Red Bull today. That was just like what we started up. And then like, this, and then we like had lunch together. We're like, yeah, we're just crazy when we're tired, dude. You, yeah. people, people get... Yeah. I'm cranky in the mornings, dude. Hey. I, yeah. First thing in the morning, like, I have to take, like, 15 minutes just to lay in bed to get ready, ready. I See, don't know why. I need to do that more often. I need to just get up and just come back to reality for a little bit. Yeah. Because I get up, like, and then I just need to instantly, like, get ready. Yeah, like, in the morning, I wake up, like, 10 minutes earlier than I really need to. I My alarm set at 520 but I'll turn my light on, and then I'll sit in bed and look at my phone for like 10 minutes and then get ready. I could Just only, to kind of get ready. I could only uh, wake up for one alarm, and it's football Sundays. It's <laughs> <laughs> the only alarm I'll ever wake up to. The, the other ones, forget about it. I'll sleep right through that. Baby. I, I cannot do that. I, I can't either. I've never slept through an alarm. Ever, Me either. Ever. I, I do it all the time. I know you do because when I, I would spend understand. the night, yeah. you and Wyatt would be the worst. That's fucking. I would stay the night at Bryce's like when I was younger, and Wyatt would have summer school, and fucking Wyatt's yeah, like alarm. Wyatt's alarm would go off for at least an hour, and he just doesn't get yeah. up. And I'm like, what the fuck? that's how my mom was, dude. I I don't get that, man. But I do can't you, do it. It's crazy. And I have instances where like I know I have the alarm set the night before. But when I wake up, it's off, and I'm like, "How does it?" <laughs> it's so because you probably wake up, but don't. Yeah, but I don't remember it. Yeah. yeah, you know. So it's like, it's like, how does that happen? How do you just not have a train <laughs> of thought of when you get up to do something? Yeah, it's wild how light of a sleeper Bailey is. Any yeah. anything wakes her up. Oh man, anything dude. that sucks. Like if I like if I turn in bed, she'll get up and she'll go. She always goes, huh? <laughs> <laughs> she always go. Huh? Well, does she, like, remember that in the morning? No, or, and no. it's so funny because, like, <laughs> she'll just she'll just say the funniest shit. Like, I'll get in bed, and she'll be like, where are you going? <laughs> and then I'll be like, I'm going to bed. And she'll be like, pick me up some. <laughs> and, then <she'll, laughs> and then she'll just go back right to bed. Okay. You know? <laughs> and she just doesn't remember. But, but that's, then, that's hilarious. But then she gets, like, legitimate, like, sleep paralysis, and that gets freaky. Cause like, yeah. cause then like I'll just like one time I was legitimately just taking a shit, <laughs> just fucking okay. scrolling on fucking Twitter or something, and then I just hear Bailey go, "Traffic!" I'm like, "Holy, Holy fuck!" Oh, fucking no. pull up my shit real quick, I'm fucking run in there, <laughs> and she goes, "Huh?" Oh my what? god! I was like, "You screamed my name," and you're like, "Huh?" What do you mean? <laughs> so oh, that's too much. As always, we do have one segment on the podcast. We're already twenty three minutes deep into this podcast. See what that's what saying? I told you. I said we yeah. could have nothing to talk about and we'll still talk for forty five minutes. We'll yeah. still find a way. Easy, yeah. But anyway, so everybody obviously has favorite pets. Now, since we've all been pretty linked for a long time, we all kind of have crew, crew pets, as Bailey's talking on the phone outside the podcast, but we are going to be ranking all the crew animals, so crew cats, crew dogs. So there are six crew cats. Two separate brackets. And Not brackets, yep. but... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 13. ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen dogs. So we're gonna start off with ranking the kitties. So I'm gonna introduce the kitties before we rank them. Morris, that was my kitty that was, at my parents' yeah. house, and I loved him. He was a straight killer. We'll get. We'll, <laughs> when, when, he's, like, he's an orange tabby. He's yeah. Uh, awesome. yeah, he's a great cat. Once we dive into these rankings, we'll talk to you. Like once we rank yeah. him where he's at, we'll we'll, we'll discuss more. Mm-hmm. Next up, we have Nut, who is my obese premature kitty that is also a straight killer. She is used to be a cutie. Yeah, she might be retired. She's she's a cutie with a booty. She's thick. 
Yeah. Next up, we got Mr. Leahy, and if you want to talk about a thick boy, Mr. Leahy's <laughs> fat. <laughs> Mr. Leahy's <laughs> fat. That was like that was a fan favorite. That was back a fan. Up at the old Casa de Colge. Was a fan favorite. Next up, we got Stuart. Stuart. He was also a cat back at Casa de Cold, black cat. I probably had him for like three or four months. Three legged. He, was he had three legs, legs but yeah, three that legged. never nice. stopped him from achieving his goals he was very of being cl- a shithead. Climbing yeah, on the bed, head. climbing on his cat toys. He loved it. He loved life. And he still loves life. Yeah. It's great. Where's he? Did you put him up for a dog? What happened uh, to him? No, so uh, one of my grandma's neighbors, yeah. uh, they have like the senior apartment thing. And it was a lady that lives right next to her. She was, she's kind of like a cranky old lady. Yeah. Like, and she was like, I don't know if I'm gonna want this cat. And then obviously she. And then I was talking with her, and she was like, Yeah, I like this cat more than any man that I've ever married. She's like been married three or four times. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect place for yeah. Spirit. And like yeah, all of her grandkids love him and stuff. I'm I'm glad that was a good home for him. Coming up next, we got a. Frickin', I want to call it a canyon kitty. Ooh. We got knickknacks. Knickknacks, the canyon kitty. How, how long do you think he was around? Three oh, years? We probably had him for like two years. Dude, he stuck around. Probably more than that because he was there for a couple was of around cr- when I first came into the crew. He was around yeah. for a couple of Christmases. So probably like three years. And then, what, last year he got lost? No, or it was probably a year and a half. Almost. Probably a year and a half ago or so. Yeah, it was so, a thunderstorm. I mean, it was at least four or five years. Uh, I remember that day. That was a tragic a fucking day. That I remember was. it was raining so bad and it like was everybody was in their jackets storm. and we're like, Nick Nax! Yeah. <laughs> so sad. I remember like that whole week when I came over to Bryce's, why it was, you know, out looking for him. Bryce That's was with, too. like both our kitties. We... We just yeah. have bad luck with cats. Well, it's because you, le- you let them be outdoors. Well, no, it's because we... Well, and we never, they have so much roaming work. Well, we mm-hmm. never, like... Found. Ha- we never really... They weren't ours. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, true. They just came to us, and then they became ours. And then it was kind of the outside-inside relationship mm-hmm. where we just open up the deck door, and then they come in. But Kind of yeah, like so was, a dog that's going to be on the next list. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no shit. <laughs> So, and coming up last, we got Ick, the inner city yeah, kitty. That was another city, canyon that kitty. That, that cat was, was not, not around for long at all. But it was all. a sweet cat. Like, a, I don't probably know. Probably a year. What? No, <laughs> no way, bro. Six months, probably. No way. That long? Had a bit. Yeah, no. Had a bit. There's no way it was that long, I Yeah, because like. it took a while for us to get, for them to get, the cat to get used to us. Mm, I, feel, I don't know. I feel like it wasn't that long. So... We're going to start by ranking the kitties. So, you got all those names memorized. At the count of three, we're all going to say who we have at last. Wait, let me check it. Just one hold on. Let hold, me check your list. Hold on. Let me. I wrote down my personal yeah. list, so I'm going to delete care. that so you don't see it. <laughs> it has to be a shocker. Awkward silence. We were just talking no, shit about yeah, them. Yeah, <laughs> shit. Sorry. Okay. I had to um, I had to. Let's see. I'm just trying to think about all these kitties. Now. Okay, yeah, I know who's going to go last. I mean, I love all these cats. I so, like them all, the at six least. recap, Morris, Nut, Leahy, Stuart, Knickknacks, and Ick. On the count of three, we say who we have at number six. Okay. Three, two, one. Ick. Ick. Yeah, Ick, yeah. Uh, he wasn't around. For wasn't long around long. Wasn't, I, I never know. really saw it that much. I saw it only a few cat, times. Though. Very sweet yeah, cat. Yeah, it just, was. It was a nice. It was just, a. Uh, it was a big cat. Actually, and then, I, I would like, always see him like on a, the deck when yeah, I'd be coming in to fix his house. And we don't. We don't know how. We're suspicious about it too, because the, there's been people on our neighborhood who have took animals from people's yards or whatever. Really? So, Damn. <laughs> so, uh, That's horrible. Yeah, so we don't really know because all the other cats on the street are still there. Mm-hmm. It's just him. Yeah. So. Maybe he was weird, from somewhere else. Yeah, know. so. But yeah, yeah. He was a good kitty, Good though. kitty. Good kitty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just, just like just knickknacks. He just, just no, mysteriously. That's fine. Vanishes. Yeah. All right. So going in at number five. Let me so check. The remo- just one more remi- time. I'm I'll, I'll just I'll, I'll recap okay. every time. The remaining kitties are Morris, Nut, Leahy, Stuart, and Knickknacks. 
Count of three. Oh, man. And we are allowed. We're allowed to disagree, dude. Obviously, yeah, Trevin. Obvi- well, <laughs> yeah, that's a different <laughs> list. I was I was shocked. We all three agreed already on the first. Oh one. man, I don't know. I all guess right. I'm just gonna. Okay, yeah, go. Okay, three, two. One. Stewart. Stewart. No. Uh, no. I'd put Stewart, man, like, I, Stewart was a funny kitty, but he was kind of a shithead. He was kind of Okay, I love Stewart. Again, (laughs) all these cats are great. All these cats are loved. But again, we didn't have Stewart for as long as, as some of these illustrious kitties. Yeah. Yeah, And it's obviously different for me because it was my cat. That was your kitty. Yeah. Uh Clearly so. But you put knickknacks at number five. Talk about knickknacks a little bit. Um, not not necessarily why you put them there, but just discuss what you, your experience with knickknacks. I well, like knickknacks wasn't really the kind of cat for me in my experiences to be all lovey dovey kind of cuddly. Kind of, he wasn't very lovey. Yeah, he was dovey. a he was a badass. Yeah, you know, he was, he was, he was a bad was tough as nails. I mean, yeah, he'll let me pet him. He'll yeah. come over and rub on me a little bit, but he was just I don't know. I probably wasn't his fan, his biggest fan. No, not. <laughs> I think that was just how knickknacks yeah, was too. That, yeah, is because I mean, knickknacks would let you pet him for yeah. a while, but then after a while, he'd be like, "All right, I'm yeah, fucking I'm out cool. enough of you. So <laughs> yeah. leave me alone." All right, number four, the remaining cats are Morris Nut, Leahy, Knickknacks, and for Colton Stewart. So number four, three, two, one, knickknacks. Nut. Come on. Probably have to go nuts. What? Yeah. Oh. Nuts out of here. Damn it. So. I like nut, though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, it's still, we. I love yeah. all these cats. They're Dude. all great. I love cats. Dude, nut pisses me off sometimes. <laughs> like, honestly, but I would take a bullet for that fucking cat. You take a bullet for it? Uh, well, maybe I would. Oh. Bullet, but I, 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 it's a saying. Yeah. I fucking yeah. love that cat so much. So but my thing with Nut too is I love that kitty, but with all these other kitties too, is mm-hmm. they're all lovable and, gr- and sweet. And they this all just kitty rank so is, high. You're gonna have to deal with it meowing all the goddamn time. <laughs> <It's> so bad. <laughs> like I love the cat, but meows more than. Well, yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all don't even know. Y'all don't even know. Y'all don't. Y'all ain't here at six a.m. when it's scratching at the door and going. Yeah, I'm gonna hate that. But I got knickknacks at number four. Um, knickknacks wasn't like that lovey of a kitty, but I just. I felt like he got used to me because I was around mm-hmm. it longer and good kitty, you know. And I, like I said, I'll never forget the day that he fucking went missing because it was such a big deal. I remember mm-hmm. like, yeah. we were searching, could not find him. <laughs> because he was inside outside and, you know, we think, you know. Wait, who? Nick Nash. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Inside outside cat. So Dr. the thunderstorm Dr. happened Dr. and he, we let him out like that morning and nope. All right. All right. Coming in. For kitty number three. The remaining kitties are Morris, Nut, and Mr. Lady. Nut for me. So this is number two. Right? What? This is three. We have oh, three, three more. Okay. Yeah. We all have, I think we all know. Okay, good. The last okay. three are. I confused myself. Okay. It's all good. Our number three. In three, two, one. Stuart. Nut. I put knickknacks over Nut. Yeah, I put Nut at three. Mm-hmm. I put Nut at three. I Makes love... Sense. I love Nut, and and I think honestly, by the time she calls it quits, cause she's so she's still so young, yeah. Like, and like I'm still gonna see her grow forever so, for a so long time. By the time like it's a career for Nut, Nut's probably gonna be like number one kitty. But uh, you know, we'll talk about Morris in mm-hmm. a little bit. But Nut, I put it. Stuart at three just because I loved him so much. He loved cuddling. He was amazing. He was a sweet. He was so sweet. And he had three legs. And he was actually very playful. Like even, He was. He even loved was, to play. Even with the playful, it wasn't like like digging your claws into him. We're into yeah. the top two of kitty cats. Yeah. We got Bailey here. Bailey's in the chat. What's up, girl? What's well, up? do we all have the same top two? Yeah. Yes. yeah. <laughs> Morris and Nick. And, and Lady. And Lady. Um, do no, you it's number three. Survivor? No, there's no more reality TV on until just Wednesdays from no, now on. Wow. It's like the worst time of the year. It's like the best time for finale uh, time, for finale time, yeah, but it's comfy. like the worst yeah, it's time. Comfy. I love this chair. It's like every time almost. Dude, these are going to be wedding chairs. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> is that nut? Has to be. There's oh, no way it was no. Keystone. It looks like nut. 
Yeah. And I just put Nut in my top three of cats. Stupid. Oh. Uh, breaking news. All right. Hey, do you want to come back for the dog rankings? Are you out? You, you got to do your top three cat crew cats first. Top three crew cats. Start from three to one. Crew cats. You know, all of our cats that we've had. Nut. Leahy. Morris. Oof, it's gotta be. Stuart. Nick, Nick, Stuart. What'd you call Stuart? Felix? Yeah, Felix. Oh, Felix. You have Felix, too. Huh? You have Felix, too. Oh, yeah, the yeah. other one. Yeah. My top three was not, not in any order yet, but Nut, Morris, Leahy. Those were my three. Nut, Morris, and Stuart. And Stuart? Ooh. Stuart over Leahy, huh? Yeah. Wow. Leahy? She did love Stuart. Yeah, she did Leahy love Felix. Kind of Stuart. <laughs> 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 Stuart was really fun and playful, even though he had three legs. And he was mm-hmm. funny to watch, too. Cause yeah. He would try to walk. He'd fall just, down. Uh, He'd hobble. Bailey around. was Stuart's number one when fan. Got too fast. And she didn't even yeah. call him Stuart. Mm-hmm. She yeah. called him Felix. We all called him different things. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Freaking, what, what, what was uh, the no, other one? Something not good. Not we can't good. not say it on the podcast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> X-rated. Yeah. X-rated. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Come. I love you. Bye, Jay. Bye. 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 All right. Bailey's out of the podcast now. Oh, <laughs> shit. Okay, coming up next, we're going to have the number two crew Ranked cat kid. in the crew. I think the next two are prop. Maybe. I don't yeah. know. There's, 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 there there there's... might be a mix-up. I don't know about Treeb. Mm. Uh, th- three, two, one. Morris. Leahy. Leahy. I got Leahy at two. Uh, okay, it makes sense. I got Leahy That's at your, two. Yeah. I got Morris at one. Dude, Morris... And you can go, and I'll and I'll let you finish you know, about Leahy. Yeah, don't I even. Have, don't I have even. a I have that picture. I think you're gonna want to pull up for us. <laughs> but yeah, Morris is a badass. That, that's like the most outdoor cat I've ever seen. Met, and he was he loved people. I, well, kind of loved. Okay. Them. Dude, that was like the weird thing was that like mm-hmm. he hated his own species. He hated every animal <laughs> that he could eat. But he <laughs> fucking loved humans. Like. Dude, you guys I, seen that, <laughs> I seen that big orange tabby in the fucking driveway the other day driving around <laughs> with Liberty Mart. Yeah. I've seen him a few times, yeah. yeah. Dude, it's just, you get a smile on your face. Yeah, you see exactly. Because yeah. you know Morris is just wild. And Morris that's the thing, too, over. is he was wild, and it's the same thing you're saying. He'd kill everything else. He hates every other cat, but he was sweet to, like, everybody. And he oh, knew yeah. that everybody that came around was friends mm-hmm. to, yeah, he to, to your family. So he was very sweet to all of us. us. He was very welcoming. He was like a host. Uh-huh. He was like yeah. a host kid. Because he had know? his, like, little bed out front, kind of like. Yeah, you'd chill there. on the barbecue room. Yeah, yeah he's, he's like, hey, himself. welcome yeah, welcome well, to Chili's. You know? Yeah, essentially. <laughs> And he, he's a legendary cat. That cat just recently turned eight years old. Wow. That's impressive. That's the crew's oldest cat, I think. It is, dude. He's, yeah. He's fucking... I, 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 still killer. I, that's freaking... Uh, my mom said that the other day. I don't know if that's 100% accurate, because it doesn't seem like he'd be mm-hmm. eight. Cause like, probably right. How, how, I'm 20 now, so it'd be 19, 18, 17, 16, 18, 14, 13. Well, that, that's that, probably right. That's probably 12, fucking... Yeah. Pretty damn right. Pretty on. I don't know. I wasn't around the back then. Yeah. But then again, I think Honey died my freshman year. I don't think. No, because Morris and Honey were still. No, Bert and Honey were the. Bert and Honey, yeah. Found him. I think I got Morris freshman year, so he's either six know. or I seven. I thought Honey was still around for a little while when you had Morris. Dude, Honey was just sad. But honey was old. <laughs> honey, Honey is a tree and Bryce yeah, dog. Yeah, throwback. Yeah, that's, but that's not included the four in the crew. podcast. My take, my take on Jim Bob Leahy though, Ooh. dude. I love that cat so fucking much. He was ridiculous. He'd always love on you, but sometimes he'd love on you when you too didn't much. want him to love <laughs> when you. Were on way you. too fucked up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> dude, dude no. I can't even tell you how many times I've been kicked back in like a recliner at like yeah, the, my grandpa's old one that just went back <laughs> yeah. really slowly. Yeah. It's the one of those ones for old people so they can get up into their walker or wheelchair or something. Yeah, yeah. and he loved laying on. Bellies. Oh yeah, that it's was like, his. That was his signature. Just lay on the belly. He would yeah. lay on the belly, and he would when pin somebody, you, dude. When well, somebody yeah. was a little bit too <laughs> drunk or whatever, he'd be like, "Oh, that's perfect belly." To Even lay on, on the right floor. There. Yeah, I can't tell you how many times me or Dakota or Barnes or anyone's passed out with him right on the belly. Yeah, dude, he's like he's like a drunk angel. Like he puts like the drunk to sleep. He's mm-hmm. like he's like 
No, shut your eyes. It's like, <laughs> no, no, no. like he's a fat cat, and like when he would stand up on you before, it kind of hurt because he tiny little paws as most cats do. Yeah, and then just like one spot. <laughs> yeah, it's just like right there in the solar plex. <laughs> Dude, for real, he would always be like yeah. right here. Yeah. and then he'd put his his head right next yeah, to your imagine. chin. Dude, but nut would be nut. Nut's different. Nut claws you. Yeah, nut would be like walking that. on you, and just <laughs> claw you. But those are the crew reigned kitties. Oh yeah, We're, for sure. So we got Morris and Leahy in the top two for sure. We're forty minutes deep into the podcast. Right. Yes. We'll get through this dog one. We'll try to quick. About to probably won't be rank the dogs. Oh, and yeah. there's thirteen of them. Thirteen. <laughs> so we got Keystone, Good Daisy, Bryce's Daisy. Yep, my Daisy. Chica, Penny, Alec Baldwin, Albert, the Gross Daisy. <laughs> Fluff, fluffy, Frida, Buttkiss, Pig, Tank, and Gus. God, there's Gus. way too many, dude. Yep. God damn it. I feel like we need to cut. We might have to cut some people live on pot. We gotta cut Buttkiss. Yeah. I think Buttkiss. We gotta. Gus. And Penny. And we have to cut yeah, Penny. Yeah, Penny. Even though Ones she... that are like actually like. And we have to cut Pig. Sorry, I don't Mario. know. I Sorry, like Bob. Penny. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna put Penny on my personal list. Alright, yeah. Okay, so should we add Penny back? Okay, but I feel like Frida's so bad to the point where she needs to be on the list. Well, yeah, because like, she's yeah. the worst. Yeah, so well, we used to actually... She was by far the worst dog on there. there all the time. So, okay, should we take Tank or Gus off? Or should we keep both of them? Well, uh, we'll probably take Gus. Gus off because we never... We weren't around too long for yeah, Gus. Yeah, we weren't, we weren't around for full Gus. Yeah. So we got Keystone, Daisy... Chica, Alec Baldwin, Albert, Gross Daisy, Fluffy, Frida, Tank. So that's nine. We might as well put Penny back in there and make it a top okay. ten. Okay. Yep. So hold on, let me make sure that's ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So we got top ten crew dogs as oh. cold you get. <laughs> you don't even have a freaking pen in here. Come on, Kevin. You have your high school diploma. <laughs> it's not even mine. Do you, do you just baby. look at it every day? You're like, <laughs> I graduated. I just, Graduation. I, just look at, I just look at it and I'm like, hashtag blessed. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just look at your list, whatever. All right, so one more time run through. Keystone, Daisy, Chica, Alec Baldwin, Albert, Daisy Gross, Fluffy, Frida, Tank, Penny. Okay. On the count of three, we're going to say number ten, and I almost think this is going to... Can be... we just do ten and nine together? I Well, like... I don't know. Okay, no. Okay. We'll just... Nope. We'll go through the first few quick. Okay, number ten. Chica. Chica. Frida. Oh, you put Frida. You like Frida. Frida. Frida was a fucking bitch. I've had dude. her a few times. I've, I've put never, Frida. Never okay, okay. How about Chica. this? I'll put, I'll put Frida. Uh, Frida's my number nine. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Frida's my number nine too. And, and well, Chica, Chica be... would be number nine. Okay, so okay, we just so we'll just we'll, we'll, we'll get out Chica and Frida. But yeah. Chica is my parents' dog, so I always had killer cats like my whole life. Oh yeah. But I've always had real shit dogs. Well, just, Honey was all right. She just barked a lot. She barked She's a super lot. old. She was super old, but she still was nice to me. Chica hates while. my guts. Chica, yeah, Chica she, hates everybody's guts. Like, besides my dad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she exactly. Hates me. Chica could give a fuck less if I died or not. I could not yeah, freaking. It's I've never, ridiculous. I've never touched that dog. I've touched her, like, pushing her off me when she's biting my ankles. Right, dude, that's like Worst the only dog time. ever. I've ever seen, just ever. Yeah, Chica sucks. Chica and then my the dad, worst. and then my dad and mom tried shaving her and gave her the most fucked up fucking haircut of all time. It was ugly as shit. But, yeah, Chica definitely had 10. Frida... I never touched Frida. I barely even seen her. I felt like I just heard her. Okay. Like, always. And that's the, my thing. That's why I have Frida at ten as the worst worst. Mm -hmm. Because when we with, dig over to our yeah, turos. yeah. Because when you go over to our turos, is like that dog is where like if you're doing anything, he will be in the room and he'll be barking yeah. your barking his ass off at you. But if like. He, he'll and he'll act all frantic. He'll be running behind the mm -hmm. couches and yeah. shit, trying to keep away from you, yeah. barking his ass off at you like you're doing <laughs> yeah. something wrong. So Frida and Fluffy are our Turo's dogs. Yeah. Um, Keystones, Trevins, Daisy. Mine too, I guess. Oh, Daisy, yeah. that's Daisy not is, the gross one. Yeah, <laughs> mine. Uh, the real Daisy yeah. is Bryce's. I have Yuck Daisy, Albert, and Alec Baldwin. 
All right. So, Just so everyone's clear about that. So and, we, and with Chica, too, is like, that's why I also didn't put her at night, is because I was not around Chica as much. We didn't go over to your place as much when no. you guys started getting Chica. And when we did, it was a shit show. Yeah, and I didn't even care for Chica. Yeah, she she's sucked. just, you know, bitch. All right. Number eight. Does anybody need a list refresher? Yeah. Okay, we well, got Keith. Let me just look at it, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Keystone, Cause, cause we, Beautiful Daisy. Alec Baldwin, Albert, uh, Bulldog, Daisy, Fluffy, Tank, and Penny. Okay. Oh, yeah, and then Penny is, uh, Jameson's, Penny is Jameson's and Tank is Mike's. All right, coming in at number eight. Okay. I think, I think this one might be a little bit, a little different of opinion. Probably. Here. Okay, number eight. In three, two, one. Tank. Penny. I, dude, I like Tank a lot. Like I, in the, all these dogs, I kind of. Oh wait, never mind. Never mind. I totally forgot. Ah, uh, fucking Daisy, my my bulldog. Daisy, Daisy. Yuck at number eight. Yeah. Over yeah. Albert. Yeah. Oh, well, dude. I mean, it, it's so hard. I I don't like both. So I'll just I'll just say eight that my or... my next two my. Eight and seven are Daisy and Albert. No specific order. I don't yeah, like those Daisy. dogs. My, you, the fans of Treeb Talks, will probably go nuts over them because their English Bulldogs are $3,000 Bulldogs. They're expensive to take care of. They have to have special food, special everything. So spoiled. And they're just disgusting and gross and horrible. Albert has attacked so many dogs. Like... <laughs> yeah, exactly. no. Literally, Leslie's had to pay a few uh, vet bills because yeah. of it. He's such an aggressive dog. Just it's, going into town. Huh? Yeah, Damn. it's it's horrible, Damn. dude. It's so yeah. Though seven and eight are my Daisy and so Albert. with with Tank for me is I haven't been around Tank enough, and on top of that, I don't think I think, I've just heard stories about Tank that I'm like, oh god. <laughs> so so my eight is gonna be Penny because I just I really didn't hang around Penny that much. I felt like when yeah. I'd go over to Jameson's and it wasn't really that often, Penny would always be like with his mom. So like... Yeah, we'd either be swimming or having a party. Yeah, so I did. I just I didn't bond with Penny too much, so I'm going to put her at eight. Mm -hmm. And since you announced your seven, I'll announce my seven. And my seven's going to be Tank. Same reason. Don't really... Wasn't really around him, but every time I see him, dude, I just get happy because mm -hmm. like his name is perfect for him. And he's also a bulldog, but he's like a rescue. I think he's already eight when they yeah. adopted him. I so, I and those tank. dogs do not have a long life at all. Like, My seven is Albert. Understandable. Yeah. I just... I don't know. It's I not that great of a I dog. I do not like those bulldogs. Out, out of the options. At number six... I'm going to put Albert. I mean, not, yeah, Albert, mm -hmm. the English Bulldog. I'm going to put Albert in at number six. Oh. Same reasons. Albert, I I fuck with Yuck Daisy. I yeah. Honestly, she was always sweet to me. She, yeah, she was she's always, like sweet, but I just, I uh. don't She was always nice to me, but yeah. I'm going to put Albert in at number six. Mm -hmm. Who do you got at number six? Uh, Tank. Tank. I like, I, and then this is where it gets like, Basically, from now on, I love all these dogs, but I'm putting Tank there because he's just a stinky dog. <laughs> every time I every time I so pet him, stuff, every time I pet him, like my I have to wash my hands because he stank. But he's a really good dog. He loves life. He's uh, I like to pet him. Stinky dogs stinky. are always the most behaved dogs. Like Keystone, Keystone stinky, <laughs> Keystones. but she's Keystones, 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 Keystones stink. <laughs> But uh, oh, my six, six is Daisy the Yuck. Daisy yeah, yuck. obviously. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, because I don't know. I, I, I have a different connection with Penny. Yeah. Because I just would go over mm -hmm. to Jameson's house with him and hang out with him. Wait, did I already occasions. say Penny? No, I don't think so. Oh, okay, Penny. yeah. My number five is Yuck Daisy. Like I said... She was always sweet to me. She was always nice. Like, Albert was always the rowdy one. And I always yeah. felt like I was protecting Daisy from getting raped. Like, <laughs> <True>. <laughs> when, <laughs> when she was in heat? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, so, like, I always remember just, like, being lovey towards Daisy. She was mm. a good dog. I like Daisy. I'll put her in my top five for sure. Who's your five? Uh, five is Penny because Penny was a nice lab. I love a good lab. Uh, and it was it was a really nice dog. I like petting her and having fun with her every time I went over to Jameson's. Who do you got at five? Who's the left? I think Albert. I don't think you said Albert. 
No, I did. I did say I got. I have Penny Daisy. Um, Keystone, Keystone, Alec Baldwin, Alec Baldwin, Fluffy, and Fluffy. Yeah. Oof. So <laughs> yeah, we got number five. I think I got. I got go with Fluffy. Fluffy at five. Yeah. Oh. I love Fluffy. Fluffy's she, a great dog. Like Pound Fluffy's F- a sweet. Puppy. Best small dog. Yeah. Definitely and she was always sweet. Dog. That's the one thing. She was always very nice. Very nice. Never mean to you. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Out of the options, that she probably have to be. The, the one that they have to put it by. At number four, I'm putting Fluffy. Fluffy was just so easy to get along with. Like mm-hmm. he would always chill out and keep. I mean, in Arturo's room and yeah. just chill and have fun. Great and good fucking time. dog. Solid dog. I'm definitely gonna put Fluffy in at number four. Who do you got at number four? Number four. Sorry, Tree, but I'm gonna put Key. Ah, uh, Key's a great four. dog, and I love her. But just the stank factor. Yeah, she's, stank factor she's, hurts the score a little bit. But she's so goddamn cute. Is a good dog. <laughs> like we were just sitting there, we were like just watching the game or just doing nothing, and like I just said, like this dog's literally just rolling around, having a fun time. Gets up and's like laughing, having a just having fun. Great dog. Who do you got for? Uh, I I think I'm gonna have to go with. Keystone. Oh, two. Penny? Damn. Yeah, really? Four. Oh, wow. Penny. Wow. Yeah. Because, I don't know, I the stonk, stonk factor of, of yeah. Keystone. Keystone's a good pup. She's sweet. She's everything. Well behaved. Well behaved. But she does That's go like, potty yeah. in the house. Yeah, she shits and pisses. Well. She's a, lot of, a lot of yeah. well behaved dogs don't do that. My dog was 15. And yeah, she but she was, a, she, you know, she was a lead. Oh, like come on! I know, dude. That's like come on, that's ew. that's the Daisy factor. Like Keystone, like Keystone yeah. used to fucking live like in Waha. Yeah, and they had <laughs> so much <laughs> goddamn land, and like now she lives here where she doesn't even have a yard. Yeah, so, I mean, and I like because we can take her disc golfing, and she doesn't like chase after the discs or anything. Nah. She's she's just doing her own thing or being right she's, next to see, you. See, that's what I'm saying. Very well behaved. Very it's well behaved. It's just the stocks, man. the stinkiness and pissing and shit and in the house. That happens with older dogs I f- sometimes. Fair enough. All right. Top well, three? Top three. Okay. So at number three for me is going to be Alec Baldwin. Ooh. I loved Alec Baldwin. And the fact that he made it into the top three is kind of ridiculous because he was such a, like, common waves dog. So, but like, every time he came, it was Electric. Yeah, so I'll just kind of give it a recap. Like Alec Baldwin, he came around first when I was like in the sixth grade, and like he wasn't even our dog; he was the neighbor's dog. But when we were outside playing catch or throwing the frisbee, he was he always showed up. When I first saw him, he popped one of my footballs. I was so mad; I hated that dog. Then he always came over, and then Reese Baldwin came over one time years ago before you guys, and he was getting drunk with us. And he came over and he just goes, Alec Baldwin! <laughs> and then that just kind of stuck. And then he would just come over when, you know, all, all the time. Yeah. And like, then I saw him last Christmas when I thought he'd pass away because he's really oh, old. Oh, that was crazy. And, yeah. and I cried a little because I thought he, you know, died and it was nice. Moment. He He was a little bit stinky. <laughs> yeah, he was, he was, he was probably the stinkiest. Yeah, he was but the, he, he was the stinkiest, but he didn't come inside. He, he wasn't yeah, technically true. ours. True, true, true. Yeah. He loved playing catch. I love playing with that dog. Mm-hmm. Who do you got at three? At three, I got Penny. Penny? Yeah. Oh. Got, Who did I pick for three? Alec. Or, uh, you haven't picked for three. Oh. Yeah, you haven't picked for three. Yeah, Alec Baldwin. No. No, you need a three. You haven't picked a three yet. You... Fluffy's my three. Yeah, yeah. Fluffy, yeah. Because, like, it's, a, it's one of those small dogs. So nice. Never barked. Always loved on you. And that was funny, too, with, like, with Penny, too, is, like, me and I, Penny just knows who I am. Like, because yeah. I, I would always pet Penny and just be sweet to Penny, but when I was, like, walking by their house, she would be out in the backyard and she'll bark. Yeah. And I'll just say, Penny, Penny, and she'll just... Stay up. Yeah, she was like, no, nah, okay, no, I know who that is. And All right. So, you know, that mm-hmm. she just knows who you are, so it's cool. Coming in at number two, I'll, 
I'll explain my reasoning. Don't get upset, but I'm gonna oh. put da- I'm gonna put Daisy at number two. That's ridiculous. But and, and she, <laughs> let me tell you, straight, let me tell you straight, not I, elite. And look, <laughs> let me tell you, okay, but let me tell you though, okay, okay. straight up behavior no. factor, cute factor, just elite dog Everything. level. Daisy comes in at number one, but you also got to think from my point of view. I grew up with. with Tiny shit dogs. dogs the whole time. And I met Bailey, and Keystone, Keystone was just so lovable, True. so big, so nice, so well behaved, and like this. Even though it's probably because I live with her, but like the stink doesn't bother me as much. And you know, Keystone's always gonna be my number one dog because that's it's Keystone. It's my it's my dog. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like it's I've grown really really close to her, and that's my dog. But Daisy. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you talk about Daisy, legendary. Wait, we dog. gotta choose our number two. Yeah, I got. I'm Alec Baldwin's my. Oh number yeah, two. Alec Baldwin's also my number two because he's he's just been there, you know. He's always been big chilling. And I, I think love him. I think you get the most joy too out of seeing Alec, Alec come. because yeah, he wasn't ours. He, sometimes yeah. he'd be gone for like months or weeks or just a couple days, but like yeah, and then when like, he came, like everyone's like. Alec Baldwin! You know, yeah. everyone was happy to see the guy. It'd be one cold night where all of us are there. It'd oh, be yeah. Our whole group would it's be like, there. We don't know why, but we're still just hanging outside when it's yeah. freaking like zero like, degrees. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, it's freaking yeah, frigid. Yeah, like, and we, we're wait, it's like we're waiting for him to show up. Yeah. And then he just he makes does. this grand arrival. And he was always running that big, fat dog. Oh, yeah. Big yellow lab. Looked like it looked like Doge. Okay, mm-hmm. and this... Yeah, he did look like the Doge. And beam. this dog, I mean... It seemed like it had some tumors on its he butt. It, no, he had like a couple of big softball sized yeah. tumors on his butt. So belly. he seemed, you know, health wise, we always worried about him. So that's why, like, when he came out of nowhere, Christmas Eve, oh, yeah. it's like, holy always, shit, it's a Christmas We had a bowl outside ones. just for Alec. Yeah. And we always gave him some treats and stuff. Uh huh. He's a good dog. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then your guys' collective number one is Daisy, as Daisy, it should be, elite uh-huh. caliber Bryce's dog. Bryce's dog. I oh, have yeah. many pictures with that dog. That uh-huh. dog is going to live on forever because it was so good. She would come out and play football with us oh, and yeah. play oh, defensive yeah. line. Oh, yeah. Best defensive player in the league. Oh, man, dude. She freaking, I love that dog. Always going to miss her. So, my thing here is Daisy is by far the number one because she's just, I mean, the most well-maintenance, just... Down to earth. I mean, she's the most humanized dog that I've ever, ever been around, ever met, anything. Cause she, she, she doesn't bark at dogs. She, other dogs that bark at her, she look at them and look at them like you're stupid. Why are you barking at me? I don't understand you. You're like, come on. Yeah, and she was just down to earth. Loved being at home. Always in the front hallway. Always needed her pets. Belly rubs was her big thing. Oh yeah. And, never uh, barked. Never barked. Not once. It didn't even matter. <laughs> I mean, she'd sometimes bark if we're running on the trampoline or oh, we're yeah. getting too riled up. But that was because she was kind of like excited, the second yeah. mom of the house. Mm-hmm. So when mom was away, Daisy was like, all right, you fuckers are, need to <laughs> slow it down. I'm going to bark at you. But no, she was just all put together best dog. Just elite dog. Elite. Mm-hmm. Well, boys, you know, this was a podcast. We didn't think we were going to have much to talk about. Oh, wait, and can I just say one more thing? Yeah, go ahead. Three years ago today, popped up on my Snapchat memories. Only people in the Valley will really get it, but, like, we finished the Lewiston L. Oh, nice. Three years ago today, when I was a senior in Construction 3. That that was kind of special. That was one of your favorites? Yeah, that was such a fun class. Let's see, do I have any Snapchat It was memories? always off-campus construction working, and it was it was cool. We were, On the last day, we took, uh, <laughs> this is we took golf balls and we were swinging them. Golf clubs. You're a fucking dummy, bud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I, love, I love it, dude. <laughs> dude, I'm so glad she doesn't have that fucking collar on anymore because it had like a ball on it. Yeah, the like, bell. Ding, 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 ding. I'd be like, God damn it. Everywhere she moves. Anyway, boys, this was a hour-long podcast. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did stick around for the whole thing, please leave a comment down below. I want to know actually how many people kind of you know, sit through this whole thing. I listen to like every career cast because I'm a nerd. Listen to my own content and listen to Got it. At, I listen to it at work usually. 
But make sure you smash the like button, subscribe, turn the bell on, share it on all your social media platforms. Get the word out there. We need more subscribers. We need to be able to pr pay production. Because hashtag it's kind of path to pay production. Yes. Yeah, start the hashtag, hashtag on Twitter. Start it on Insta Slam. Even start it on Facebook. Hashtag path to pay production. Thank you guys so much for coming out to this crew cast. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.